Hello and welcome back to Derby Nurseries, the place that deals with temptation beyond endurance. Now, this is our second video of the year, and if you missed our first, season starters, do watch again on catch up, as it were, because most of the plants in that video won't be in this one, and I don't want you to miss out. Let's take a look at what's new for you this week. <laughs> Lovely, lovely plants. And now it's time that I hand over the reins to my learned colleague Alistair as we go hunting for facts. Hello Al. Hello Tom. What have you brought with you today? I have brought lots of things Tom. Lots first, of things. I'd like to talk about this um, Cytisus lena. Oh. Um, with our crop of Cytisus we uh, grow them in a certain way to ensure that we have maximum flower without a prune on the top. And also you will see through nutrition, through the production, we manage to ensure that the crop is green from top to bottom. It really is green from top to bottom. Thank you, Al. How many of those do we get on a shelf? Lots. 24 viewers, 24. And uh, what's that small thing you've got hiding between your legs there, Al? It's a lavender mustard one litre. Lavender mustard one litre. Now you get 40 of these on a shelf. And uh, if you take a look at these pictures now, as you can see, we've got a fantastic crop this year. And um, I'd say that's quite a, quite a big specimen, wouldn't you, Al? Yes, it's a very good specimen. And as you can see, it's got lots of lovely breaks. So um, come May, you'll have uh, a full plant with flowers on. Excellent. Now, if you don't believe me, dear viewers, as to how good a uh, specimen this is, indeed how large a specimen it is, we've decided to employ our new human ruler, Miro. Here he is. There we go. And as you can see, in his hands, it really is massive. Thank you, Miro. And last but not least, if people want something a little bigger, Al, what have you got to offer them this week? So this is a lavender intermedia. Ooh. And on here, you can see, we picked this cultivar because of several different attributes. It's very uniform in production, which will transfer into people's garden. So if you wanted to grow a hedge, um, they would be uniform right the way through. As opposed to Vera, it has a very good silver colour, so it's a lot more silver than Vera. And when it flowers, and it is uh, intermediate, so it will flower at about a metre high, it has a darker flower than um, Vera. So it means that if you are cutting it for dried flowers, that that will keep that colour for a lot more. Well, there you go, boys and girls. Look at that, a lovely new introduction here at Derby's on your availability lists this week. There is one problem with this crop, though, Tom. I've told you don't really deal with problems here at Derby Nurseries, Al. Well, it's, it's with its name, Tom. Oh, right, okay. If you say its name, something really weird happens. What on earth do you mean? 
what is called lavender phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> Well, that is a bit strange, isn't it? Can I have a go? Yeah. Phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal. Absolutely not. Stacey Royal there, making her long overdue Derby Nursery's YouTube debut. Thank you, Stacey. And I'm sure you'll all join me this week in giving Stacey a little tinkle on the phone and giving her your love and support, or if you prefer, like me, teasing her mercilessly. Oh, I nearly forgot to say goodbye to Al. Goodbye, Al. Bye, Tom. See you next time.